Hello! Data David. Today we're gonna to do a short episode because I'm out traveling. I'm gonna answer a pretty common question I often get when people are working with segments. And I love segments, so please keep on working with segments. What are sequence? What are sequence segments and when should I use them? Two reasons to use sequence sequence to use segment segment sequence to use sequence segments. Either to segment by sessions or users having performed actions in a sequence or you can use them also to creating hit based segments where you combine data in the same hit and use that as a segment. We're gonna take a look at it. We will be using the Google Merchandise Store, as always. We're here at a Google Rucksack page. And we've been loading the page. And then we will also be clicking this event, this phone number, and that will send an event and we will be clicking this phone number, which fires an event that has this data. This data. Event category, contact us, action, on site click, and label phone. There is also a different event here, which is email us. So when I'm clicking email, The same event category contact us is fired. Event action on site click, but then the label email. First, a quick recap of segments. When creating a segment, we have some basics here. But I want to, to be very careful and look here. On the demographics segments, the demographics templates of segments, it says segment your users by demographic information. We check technology, segment your users' sessions by their web blah blah blah. Behavior, segment your users by how often they visit and conduct transactions. So this is a core concept in how segments work, that they, have, they can be user or session based. So for example, if we take here per session, during this time frame, we want to see how many sessions have been longer than three minutes? See here that 24% of the sessions and 18% of the users have had sessions longer than three minutes. But we could also look at it like this. To say that during the time here that the users should have had all in all more than 180 seconds of session. Or we could just take a look here and say that give me all users that have had more than five sessions, six or more sessions. So this will give us these users, but in Google Analytics everything is based on sessions. So we'll have all the sessions of the users that have had more than five sessions. So first, let's create a sequence segment. Give us users that give us all the sessions, oops, give us all the sessions where a user first was at this page, the Google Rucksack page, this one, and then in a later step went to a different page. Let's say just home, the home page.
48 sessions with 46 users. So one user or more users did this sequence. So what happens now if we change this to users instead? That means that each of these steps does not have to be performed during the same session. See here, sessions. So step one, at some time during a session, the page should have been this. And then, because we look at users, Another step will be the home page, but it doesn't have to be during the same session. So by using the include user segment, we look at all the users that have performed this and then this. It could be during the same session or it could have been during first one session and then another session. And we give we get all of their sessions for all of the users that during this time period did this sequence. That is the standard sequence segment. Sequence segments can also be used to make things, to look at things that only happened in the same hit. I want to segment the people that clicked this phone link on this Google Rucksack page. We create a new segment. We're going to use a sequence segment that said that we were on a specific page and used a label. Because we saw in this example here. We have the event category and the event label. The event label was phone and we wanted it to be on this page. So let's do that. Look at all the sessions where the page was the rucksack page. And another condition within this step was that the event label was phone. One user did this in one session. But the naive way of doing that would be to use an ordinary condition segment. So if we were to use a condition segment that looked at the page and label, it's not too bad. You could do that. We say, look at all the sessions where the page was exactly the rucksack and the event label was phone. Whoa, what happened here? Two users with three sessions. What's going on? Hmm. We compare these. Hmm. What has happened here? With the sequence segment we only got one session but then with the condition segment we got three sessions let's look at the condition segment again what this says is give me all the sessions that had a page hit that was the rucksack page and during the same session, the event label was phone. But it doesn't say that they occurred during the same hit. 
So what happened is that probably you were at this rucksack page and then you clicked the phone link on a different page. Let's verify that. Looking at the events report, we look at the contact us category and the on-site click action. Let's apply our condition segment. And we look at the event label and on what page that event label occurred. And what do you know? When looking at phone, it was triggered on the rucksack page, which is the one we we're interested in. But there were phone clicks also on other pages. So by using this condition segment, we're actually not getting really what we want. Perhaps this is what we want. We want to have the sessions that were on this page, the rucksack, and somewhere click the phone link. But it's not the same as using the power of the hit scopes in the sequence segments. So we remove this and let's look at the sequence segment instead. Again. We want to look at the sessions where step one, one hit had page, the rucksack page, and the event label phone, at that, that the event label phone was sent on the same rucksack page. How does that look in this event report? We're looking at the event category contact us, on site click, the event label, and the page for phone, it only happened on the rucksack page, which is exactly what we want. That is what you use sequence segments to. Either to check things happening in sequence, either during one session or during multiple sessions for the same user during that date range, or what I find the most powerful is to set up these hit scoped segments where you look at different features, different dimensions that happen during the same hit, looking at the phone clicks on the rucksack page only. Not phone clicks on different pages, phone clicks on the rucksack page. Thanks for watching. Hit like, hit subscribe, write in the comments different questions that you want me to answer about Google Analytics or YouTube Analytics or other analytics. See you next time.